I don't know, do you ever see Star Trek where they'd be talking to each other, you know, <laughs> millions of miles away with just a little thing the size of a quarter or something like that? Well, now here's a tinkerer <laughs> who invented something for us to use like that. You just put a little button here, you know, and you could call it, hey, do I have any messages? And you get your messages, or you call somebody or whatever, and the thing is like a size of a quarter, so you're not even carrying it around anywhere. You know? and, and, and actually, it's an unbelievable price, you know, that you wouldn't believe, you know, you think of thousands of dollars, or whatever. it's like a hundred bucks for something like this. You got that kind of communicator, you know, that you could wear uh, on your t-shirt or, or suit packet or whatever, or, or a lot of people are using them in companies now, you know, just on their dog tags or whatever they wear. You know, when you have a company ID that you have to wear around your neck, <laughs> it sounds dreadful to me, <laughs> but it's cool. And, and another thing about this interview coming up is that how this guy, you know, he, he got like over $20,000 for his idea, you know, uh, on the internet, you know, to help develop this, but he also got distributors, people, businesses, hey, I need one of these for all my employees, you know. So that's what I mean, when you do something like this on the internet, you not only get customers, you get group sales or people who want to sell your stuff to other people or, or companies that want to have everybody in their, you know, in, in their office have one of these things, you know. So that's what's neat about using the internet like this uh, to, to do things, because it costs next to nothing. I mean, maybe if he spent a hundred bucks or so putting up the website would have been a lot, you know, and, and he got tens of thousands of dollars. And, and somebody was telling me is buying like $5,000, 5,000 of these things a month. So that's, not, that's worth a heck of a lot more than $20,000 and it'll be every month. So that's what's so neat about, you know, letting people know. If people don't know you have a good idea, who cares? I, mean, I used to think that I used to spend 90% of my creativity trying to tell people about my idea versus doing the idea. So that's what it takes in this kind of society with so much information and uh, ways to get the messages out. You have to work at it and it takes creativity. So watch this interview. Well, Charles Crimstock of, and it's Combridge.net, and you're bringing Star Trek to the average person on the street, aren't you? <laughs> I am. I am. Well, well, show us this gadget. You just—it's wearable technology. It's Star Trekky, yeah. What does it look like? There it is. That's it. Wow. It's, it's very thin. Uh huh. Uh, powered on is one click. That's it. Ah. So it goes on your clothes like that? It goes on your clothes. And you can be driving or doing anything? And how do you, how does it work? It's free. Um, you, can, you can put it uh, in your car, uh, use it in your car, of course. Uh huh. And access Siri and Google Now, all hands free. Wow. So show us an example. How does it work? How do you do this? Okay. You just touch it? What time is it? But, and you can check your messages like this too? And you can check messages. Yeah, like? Check messages. There no messages. Ah, so That's you're not an important guy. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not, I love to be out there, and it'll always love hearing, oh, no new messages. But now I just tap this thing, and, and, and it's good. And, and you say that you can also, like, you never lose your phone, because this is really part of your phone. It's a Bluetooth, right? That's right. hooked up. You pair it once to your phone. Uh -huh. Once it's paired, then uh, it's just automatically connected every time you turn mm -hmm. it on. And one, one thing that you'll notice is it, it'll totally change the experience you have with your smartphone mm -hmm. because you, you really uh, don't have to constantly look down at your phone to interact with it. And that's, that's really the beauty of it. It, it uh, gives, you, gives you the freedom of your hands back. Yeah. And your head, instead of you know, looking at your feet all day and your phone, you know. <laughs> That's why you walk down the street, everybody's you see bald heads, you know. <laughs> and, and you get that out of the way. But more importantly, the applications are, are just tremendous. I mean, you know, uh, you have it. You can you, you, It's a way not to lose your phone because that's cooked in your phone. If it's here, you walk away from your phone at lunch, and it's going to tell you, "Hey, dummy, you forgot your phone, right?" Right. It's actually, I can demonstrate that for you if you'd like. Yeah. 
Um, the, I actually found out that if you use a martini shaker, uh, <laughs> it, it breaks the signal. To oh, you. I see. So when I do that, you're going to hear in just one second. Wow. <laughs> and, and so this is you this works now with iPhones or, or with Androids or almost any kind of it, phone, right? It actually it actually can work with any Bluetooth. Your phone is out of range. Now it's gonna Ah, be, I see. So you reconnect. found it, you dummy. Right. <laughs> but, so it can actually work with any Bluetooth capable phone. Uh-huh. Um, but we are we're only going to have apps for the iPhone and for the Android. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to use it as a speaker phone on an on a, an older phone, I um, see, right? Then, then you can still use it just as a speaker phone. But you mm -hmm. won't have the voice control capability unless yeah. you have Siri or Google Now. I see. So right now it works with the Siri or the Google Now uh, function. That, that's pretty right. popular. I guess it's on every phone that I. Yeah, you know, the new ones that, that I've seen. Uh, right. But I mean, it, it, the applications, I mean, you, you have it in the workplace, you have it, you know, uh, like I've fallen and I can't get up, you ought to take care of grandma, it's a way to just do this and they don't have to do anything and it'll send an instant message. Uh, uh, and it also acts as a speaker phone though, doesn't it? It is a speaker phone. Yeah. Uh, to accept an incoming call is just a single tap. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to reject that call, you would press and hold it, <laughs> and it would reject that call. Oh, and somebody collecting bills. No, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> don't collect. Yeah, right. uh, but you're, you've been a gadget guy your whole life, haven't you? I have. I yeah. have. I, I started very young um, building the, those Radio Shack. Oh, I remember. At, yeah, at, TRS um, or something like that. I forget. What yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> so, so I've always been involved in, in gadgets. And, and now, though, you finally hit whatever. You had a big time job with Lexus, Toyota, and you say, hey, you're giving it all up for this idea, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. And you've done two you know, crowdfunding campaigns now worth almost, and you're still at it, almost $70,000 now you, that you raised on this product already. And actually, if people go now to Kickstarter, they could get one at a great deal right i mean exactly we're yeah. going to get one that's a good 15, 10 to 15 dollars cheap wow when it becomes retail so not only will you be the first on your block <laughs> right. to look like you're running the starship enterprise and you're going to get it cheaper than anybody else exactly and <laughs> exactly and you'll get it before anybody else and before anybody else wow one of, one of the features that we added um, if we hit 25,000, uh -huh. is that you'll be able to have a, a panic button uh, built into combat. Ah. For example, just like you're, you, in your alarm system that you have uh -huh. at home, if you press and hold combat for five seconds, it'll dial into a central station. I see. As wow. an emergency, um, in an emergency situation. I mean, people pay a couple hundred bucks a month for something like a service like that and, exactly. <laughs> and you get a free or even I've seen things on you know crowdfunding sites where you, you know they won't lose your phone I mean that could be a hundred bucks too and that, that comes free <laughs> so it's a, it's a great value, your, really. yeah I mean it's an incredible thing and, and you uh, you're you're electrical engineer or what kind of engineer mechanical mechanical, mechanical engineer, engineer. But it seems to be electrical. <laughs> it's, it's electrical. Actually, my background is mechanical, but I was always involved with computer science yeah. and electronics. And, and so I, I don't want to age myself that much. I, was, <laughs> I remember programming computers with punch cards. So. Hey, <laughs> I fell many on the floor, man. I'm an old COBOL programmer and Fortran and stuff right, like Fortran. that. Fortran, I'm a Fortran. Yeah. Right. Oh, we'll talk Fortran after the show. <laughs> uh, and, you know, going back to even further was basic when you said... Oh, the Bay, I, absolutely, the teletypes. <laughs> the teletypes. Yeah. I used to teach that in college courses. <laughs> Well, that's, well, this is where we come to it. And now we have technology like you do, you know, the, the com badge, you know, that we don't have to program anything. We just have this little gadget and do it and talk and don't have to write in code and bits and ones or exactly. uh, Fortran or anything. And, 
and it's going to make life so much easier like you are on your years. You know, you wake up in the middle of the day and night, you say, because of things that you know have to be, you know, be helpful to people, and you're sharing it with us. And, and the people can know about it by go to combadge, that's C O M M B A D G E dot net to find out about the Kickstarter campaign or if it gets over by the time you get there, but don't wait. And actually, you got to get there because you want to see this video on your page, man. It really shows exactly how this thing works. I mean, right. you. You know the the people uh, that are in the video, or uh, it's just a well done video. I mean, you know, for I, a yeah, gadget, yeah, yeah. It, it, and well, that's because we, we. If you think about the future of of input to a computer or to a mobile device, yeah. is voice. Absolutely, that is the future. That's so, where it's going. Yeah. So, Combat really is going to be right. riding that wave. Right. Of, intelligent assistance and not only are you going to save lives from you know getting people help when they need it and all this other stuff because of the functions of uh, you know combat but you're going to save lives of people who are walking in traffic looking at their phones like this now <laughs> and that's true too that is true too so you're a lifesaver charles uh, thanks for being there and uh people want to know more about it or get involved in the kickstarters get one you know, at a real deal and be the one, the first one at C O M M B A D G E dot com. Dot <laughs> net. Dot net. net. Oh, oh, God. Say all that. They, I got to say that in four They can go to Kickstarter and, and um, search Combat. Combat. C O M M B A D G E. Great. Um, but it's great being on your show. I thank you very much. Well, thank you, Charles. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet a boy from Philly making good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank great. you so much. All right. Take, take care. care. Okay, you're going to get one? <laughs> They're pretty cheap and it looks pretty fun. <laughs> but more importantly, if you have an idea, so you don't have to have the whole idea completed. You know, you just have to have a, a mock up or something like that of what it's going to do. And you get one of those made, you know, with 3D printers and things like that. So that's easy to do nowadays. You don't have to have a million done in, in China in order to show people. You just have to have one. And that doesn't take a whole lot of money. So start working on your idea.